What's going on guys, it's Tun from Total Mods. I'm just doing another update video on my uh, TRX 4s uh, Project Crew Cab and my regular cab truck. Let's talk about this one first before we get back to this one. I know you guys want to know about this one more than this one, but uh, a lot of changes I've done to this one since the last video. Um, as you can see, the box is actually mounted to the chassis. Uh, all the styrene we worked and everything else and the battery holder and everything in the back is actually 100% done now As you can see I reinforced the uh, Tunnel cover With some more styrene just to stiffen it up and As you can see that's where the battery sits and the box is done. Yeah, there's no inner fenders in this I, I really don't care. This was more designed and built for function than more for looks as this is the truck I'm going to be using to actually use on the trails where this one's a shelf queen <laughs> so um, as you can see I stole the uh, the wheels off of project crew cab because I am going to a custom wheel for project crew cab so these wheels are actually staying on this truck they're SSD type D wheels with uh, pitbull growler uh, AT extra tires uh, with the stock foams uh, these tires work great. I have two sets. Uh, my uh, Jeep there, which is an SCX10, um, it's running the same tires, but with uh, custom aluminum wheels on that. I was going to use those wheels um, on this truck, but they hit the portals. They don't fit because of the back spacing and everything, and the, the, the rear ring on those on those ones don't fit, so shitty buzz, whatever. I want to go with something more custom for this truck and the other truck but uh, for this one these will work great um, the articulation on this thing is amazing still so as you can see still works really really good I can still even go up more but you know for for how I'm building this truck and everything else uh, this truck is perfect because I'm doing something more of a class one truck so I'm not doing anything radical or anything like that. I like to build my trucks to scale. Uh, as you can see, the electronics have been changed. The speed controller is now up here. Um, and I'm still running the same motor. Still all the stock servos, except for that servo is not in right now because stupid me, I fucked up and stripped the servo. So I just got to pick up a new one and put it on and set it all up on the controller again. And then there we go. Um, other thing, the rear cable for the rear locker is actually a front cable. It's the front cable off of this truck. Uh, the rear, the reason why I did that is because the um, the rear cable is it's a lot longer, and because of it, and because I wanted to keep this in the stock position, it was binding up hardcore. It would not let the uh, it would not let the cable like the actual thing lo lock and unlock the diff. So I went with a shorter one, and it's just the right size, to be honest with you. Uh, I wish it was a little bit tad longer, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Maybe down the road I'll make one or something like that. Who knows, because I've actually looked at this, and it's just cable pinched. That's just been pinched in that, so I could probably make one later on. But for now, it works, especially for this truck. Um, it's not so messy or anything. Um, if you guys don't know what I'm running... I am running a Tekken RS ESC that's been waterproofed. Every, all my electronics are waterproof in this truck. Um, with a ProSpec 21 five turn motor. It's still got it's got more torque and, and a little bit more pep than stock. The stock brush motor. Uh, so I didn't want it to be fast or anything like that. You see all these guys with their, their TRX4s on, on the internet just putting like 6 cell and you know big kv motors and just you know ballooning the, like just blasting the shit out of the trucks and everything else where me i just wanted that extra torque the brush is this quiet it's run smoother uh runs it's not as hard on the batteries and everything else because you can run a lot longer which is great so that's why all my trucks are brushless if uh so uh i run censored brushless in every single one of my trucks Actually, I run sensor brushless in all my RCs. So, 
uh, radio I'm using is uh, Flysky i6. Ugh. Uh, this this bad boy right here. I'm a stick radio guy when it comes to my trail trucks. It's an actual Flysky i6 controller uh, with a reprogrammed software, so it has 10 channels, and I have modified the gimbals and everything else. So this is just throttle only, so it doesn't go left and right anymore. It just goes up and down for throttle, and this is just left and right, no up and down on this. Uh, these channels have been taken out and removed and actually moved up here. I just don't have this channel on this side yet because I'm uh, re I'm redesigning this controller a little bit to work better with this truck so um, So there is gonna be changes to this controller, but I have 10 channels in this truck uh, So it controls everything um, So uh, Again castle BC it's been waterproofed Yeah, I know castle has one that is waterproof now, but to be honest with you you can buy these things, these BCs used off the internet, like off the forums or something like that for like 20 bucks. And it takes, honestly, no more than five minutes to waterproof it. No, that's not Plasti Dip that's on this. It's actually a combination. It's uh, inside of it, all the circuit boards have been uh, coated with Corrosion X. And then I coat the whole thing with Shugu. So the whole thing is fully coated with Shugu. So that's how it's uh, waterproofed. Uh, same thing with this. Um, Corrosion X and Shugu and a mix of uh, another thing with some clear nail polish too that I mix up with. But uh, all the, the mode buttons and everything still work. Everything still functions on it. It's just that it's waterproof. That's all. So even the receiver has been done. It's all waterproof too. But uh, beyond that, uh, this truck still the front end. All the suspension work from the front end forward is still all stock. Uh, I didn't change that because, like, honestly, I could line the body up to the front suspension just just to keep all the geometry the same and everything else so I don't have to move anything. It's uh, easier to move the rear than the front. So that's all the same still, uh, except for the rear. I'll just flip this on its side. As you can see, the links have been changed. Uh, for now, it's threaded rod just so I can get the, the actual dimensions that I needed. And once I do some testing and make sure it's all good, uh, these will be sent out to be machined by my good friend. Uh, and he'll be making these out of medical grade stainless steel. So I will show you what I'm talking about. He's already made the rear links for this one. So I'll show you them. I already put them on, so I'll show you what I'm talking about. This The dry shaft has just been cut down to the size that I needed. Um, so yeah, that rear drive shaft was like extremely long. It's like way out here. It's cut down to here. <laughs> so yeah, the wheelbase on this is just over 11 inches, just a tiny bit over 11 inches is what the wheelbase is. Uh, 11, like 11 inches and a quarter, maybe I think it is or something like that. But it's the shortest wheelbase TRX4 that I've seen so far. I haven't seen any that are shorter because like, it gets you're getting right into that part of the chassis like man the tire was hitting this this these side pieces so i had to cut them just so so it would clear like see like it was hitting the tire that's how close it is and the shock tower and everything else the factory shock tower would not work uh at all uh, so i had to uh make my own shock towers and everything so yeah Floor is done on the box. It's all made out of styrene. There's even these little ledges here. I still gotta drill the. I gotta mark the holes and everything that are in the chassis to uh, so I can bolt the bed here and here to give it some extra reinforcement because right now it's only bolted with two screws on the floor. These two screws right here, and they're bolted. They're screwed right into the. Um, factory plastic uh, chassis brace that goes in between so yeah it's mounted there so battery tray that's where the, ba the battery plugs are there's the shock tower I did so yeah uh, no wheel wells just because this is built for functionality not for looks because this is my trail truck and reinforce the lid so yeah 
um, cab. So far I've done to the cab is I've reinforced the back. I will be reinforcing the inside of the doors, the fenders, the hood, and everything once I clean this all up. Uh, I'm going to reinforce all that with styrene. Uh, these For bumpers, I am just sticking with these plastic ones for now um, until I figure out what I'm going to do for bumpers. I might even just cut the centers out here and make this out of steel to, so it's mounted to the chassis. And then that'll look like the real Chevy bumper because the center is steel and the side, it's the it's got plastic caps on the side. So I can keep this and put fog lights in here and put a winch in it or whatever. I don't know yet. Um, we'll see. And then the other thing I have to do is uh, design and program my light system for this truck and paint it. <laughs> um, so I don't know what color I'm going to paint it, but I am going to paint it. So, um, that is for sure. The other thing I'm doing is the, uh, stock, uh, inner fenders for the TRX-4. Oh, it goes this way. Um, I am going to be using them on this truck and on this truck. Um, I still got it. I just got to extend it a little bit and I had to cut and modify it a little bit. So I had to cut the bottom tab and then cut that front tab off. But uh, I am going to be using it. I am going to uh, fit it to the body because it does fit inside the body, as you can see. So I just got to extend it out. I don't. I'm just going to make it so it just fully covers it on this one. But on this one here, I'm going to shape it and mold it so it looks more proper as an inner fender. Um, where this one's just functionality, and this one's more all looks. So that's the update with the uh, regular cab one. I'm um, hoping my parts come in for it so I can get this all finished and everything so I can start running it because uh, I haven't ran it yet. I have ran it in the house and ran it over things and it articulates and flexes really nice so I'm happy about that. But uh, yeah, like has good flex. More than enough to be honest with you. And the truck is still sitting as a droop setup. Like that's that's sitting normal. And if you lift up on the chassis, it still has more travel. Like that's that's the shock all the way up. I'm running 100 mil shocks on this, so the droop setup works awesome on this. Um, but yeah, okay. So on to the next truck. This is the truck that you guys want to look at. Uh, there's not much of an update on this one except for. Um, the ESC and motor is, I already got it finally, and I have it in the position that I want it. Uh, these tires are not going to stay. I am not running 1.9s on this. It will be a 155 truck, uh, with a smaller tire. It might, I, I might even put a 1.9 uh, rim on it with a 155 tire on it, but I am not doing a full 1.9 setup. Who knows yet? So, uh, as you can tell, um, so body is still the same i haven't done anything with the box yet this is the box off the other one i just stole it from this one because i already started but i'm going to do the same thing to the that i did to that box to this box but i am going to put the inner fender wells in i am going to um put the ridges all in and everything else so this is going to be more for looks than uh where that one was functionality uh, body the, the cab is still the same i haven't done anything with it just not motivated to do all that putty work and sanding and putty work and sanding. So uh, that's how it stands. So some of you guys know I am running the uh, Castle Creation Mamba Micro X ESC Crawler Edition combo. I'm running the uh, 2080 KV motor. I don't know if I'm going to keep that motor in there. I'm probably going to take it out to be honest with you because I don't need all that power. Um, so I might, uh, what I might do is take the ProSpec 21.5 motor out of this one and stick it in this and then take that motor <laughs> and stick it in this. Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, who knows? I might not even run this motor at all. I might just sell it to be honest with you. Uh, I might just sell it off to somebody. It's brand spanking new. I, I have not ran it at all. So who knows? I might even sell it and, um, put a different motor in i have a i have another uh 21 five turn motor 
uh, that I can put into this truck. And I think I will put a 21.5 motor in because that motor is just enough power and torque to for this truck, especially because this truck's going to be a show truck. So for it to tow and everything else, I'm going to keep it in a small gear. I might even gear put a smaller gear on it because it's got 11 in it right now. I think I can go smaller if I can, then I might do that. I'm not totally for sure yet. Um, just because of the ESC, the reason, the main reason why I got this ESC is because of the size, but it shocked me when I found out it was this small, um, because of the space, just because this truck is getting an interior, uh, if some of you guys don't know, but it is getting an interior, so, uh, space is limited, <laughs> so a lot of it's probably going underneath the cab here, and, uh, underneath the hood, so, uh, we'll see and then like for lipos I might be running some really small lipos uh, that's going to sit inside the bed in the inner fender wells of the box or something I have no clue I'm trying to hide everything but uh, it's going to have a full interior on this truck when it's done um, so the next thing uh, again I've said I was waiting on the rear links to be made while well, they're made <laughs> I finally got them off my friend he finally had some time to build them for me um, he's a busy guy, so I have to wait. But, uh, yeah, there's the new links. And look at how freaking long they are. So, here's a stock one. I'll put it next to this. And I'll put it next to this one right here. Oh. So, I'll line it up with this. So, where it's supposed to sit. So, as you can see how much longer the links are. And these links are actually medical grade stainless steel and they're thicker they're thicker and they're heavier um so i'm very happy about that so i'll show you the thickness i'll turn on my vernier here all right i'll stick it on here so 6.49 millimeters and then the stock one is 4.94 so as you can tell the difference between the thicknesses um, yeah these things are a lot beefier and a lot heavier so which is kind of nice so all my links on both of my TRX's 4s are going to be done in this medical grade stainless steel so these front ones are actually going to be coming off tonight same with the panard bar and the steering linkages that's all going to be coming off, and I'm giving it to my buddy because he's picking them up tomorrow. So uh, he's going to machine those out of the metal grade stainless steel. He's going to make me two sets for the front because the front end linkages is all stock on both trucks. So he's going to make me two sets for, the, for both trucks. And then when I'm done with the rear of the crew cab, I mean the, the regular cab truck, the, the links on this one, I am going to take all the links off of that and hand it to him and he's going to make those ones just like these so both trucks will have this uh, metal grade stainless steel which is going to be sweet um other things is uh he's going to be making uh custom skid plates for me uh full stainless steel skid plates the way they're going to be made is they're actually going to wrap around the chassis here and they're going to cover all this but it's still going to have the flexing room for the for all the links and everything else so uh, we're still working on that and still designing that and then so this truck and that truck is gonna both have them uh, and then uh, I'm just gonna be waiting on other parts that I've ordered for this truck um, pretty much I am going to uh, make everything on this truck pretty much aluminum so I do have an aluminum transmission case coming I do have uh, a couple other things that are aluminum. Oh, motor mounts. Both of, both trucks are getting the aluminum motor mount. But uh, this one's going to get a full aluminum transmission case. So I'm going to do some work on that. And um, the uh, diffs, the the axles on this, I'm probably going to be converting them to those uh, to the aluminum TFL ones because uh, they're all aluminum. I'm not a, I'm not 100 sure yet. Um, I'm just slowly going to get bits and pieces and start putting them on here. Uh, I do want the aluminum transmission on this truck, so I am doing that. All these side pieces here, um, 
These are going to be going bye-bye. My buddy is going to make this out of aluminum for me, which sticks extends out more um, to fit the body more because that's how I'm going to mount it. I don't know. Uh, maybe. I, I don't know. I We've been talking about it, but uh, we'll see. But uh, I am going to put magnets on this chassis and everything probably. Uh, so we'll see that way. Who knows? I might hard mount like i might screw the body onto this chassis um just because i don't need the i don't need the thing to go on and off on and off on and off so i'll probably do the same thing with the box on this on this one that i did to the regular cab mount it directly on this and just make the cab pop off so i might just do that we'll see uh but uh i'm in no rush to finish this project it's gonna take a while uh, especially with all the ideas and everything else and I still got to find somebody to build me uh, custom wheels uh, for this truck and for the uh, project um, project beggar truck so I'm building a second crew cab so they're both going to be painted exactly the same um, except for this one's going to be the lifted version and this is going to be the one on slammed on the ground this one will have working actuating suspension and everything uh, and the back box is all going to be open and exposed so you can see all the rear end suspension work and everything else like a real custom bag truck um so that is another one that i am going to be doing this one's project bagger 2 because i've already built a bag uh, bagger truck except for it was a lexan body which was a chevy crew cab body on that one and it had actual sus actuating suspension and everything but i have a better cleaner design than the first one so the second one i think is going to be turning out way better if you guys do want to see project bagger the first one i did check out my youtube it is on there there's a couple videos on it that i did um i did complete the truck uh to about i would say 85 percent um i never got to finish it i no longer own the truck i wish i did um but i don't so that's why i'm building a new one so um yeah it's going to look bad badass with this thing on a trailer again pulled by this thing. So I think that's going to be pretty cool. So hope you guys like the video.